Saturn, the sixth planet from the Sun and the second largest in the solar system after Jupiter. It's a gas giant with an average radius about nine times that of Earth. Best known for its prominent ring system that consists of nine continuous main rings and three discontinuous arcs, it also has 62 moons orbiting it. 53 of them are officially named. This does not include the hundreds of moonlets comprising the rings. On October 15, 1997 the Cassini Usions and unmanned robotic spacecraft was launched to study the Saturn system. On July 1, 2004 the space probe entered orbit around Saturn. During its missions the Cassini provided us with a wealth of information and made several new discoveries that will help us to better understand both our solar system and the cosmos. It performed flybys of Jupiter, Phoebe, Titan, Enceladus, Eaptus, Dion, Rhea, Hyperion, Mimas, Tethys, and Helene. It discovered seven new moons orbiting Saturn, returned about 26,000 images of Jupiter, producing the most detailed global color portrait of the planet ever made, and gave us the first surface images of Titan. On September 15, 2017 Cassini's journey comes to an end. Its final mission appropriately named Grand Finale entails a series of close Saturn passes, entry into the planet's atmosphere and culminates in its impact with the planet to destroy the spacecraft. NASA states that this method of disposing of the spacecraft was chosen to protect and prevent biological contamination to any of Saturn's moons that could potentially harbor life. The Cassini was not sterilized and does not comply with the planetary protection principles as the chances of finding life were considered insignificant at the time. It has now become evident that chances for life on Titan, Enceladus and even Saturn are higher than initially thought. Forward contamination in this case is still considered unlikely, but it reinforces the need to ensure any extraterrestrial forms of life are protected. Due to Saturn's distance from the Sun, solar power was not a viable option as a power source for Cassini so it was powered by three radioisotope thermoelectric generators which use heat from the natural decay of about 73 pounds of plutonium-238 to generate direct current electricity via thermoelectrics, known as RTGs and designed for very long operational lifetimes the ones on the Cassini mission have the same design as those used on the New Horizons, Galileo, and the Ulysses space probes. The Cassini probe posed a danger to human beings and Earth when Cassini passed only 728 miles above the Earth on August 18, 1999 when it performed a flyby to gain momentum for its journey. Had there been any malfunction causing the Cassini space probe to collide with the Earth, NASA's complete environmental impact study estimated that even though Cassini would gradually burn up, a significant amount of the 73 pounds of plutonium-238 inside the RTGs would have been dispersed into the Earth's atmosphere and that up to 5 billion people, almost the entire population of Earth would have been exposed. This is not the first time a spacecraft has been disposed of in this manner. Galileo was deliberately plunged into Jupiter's atmosphere to ensure it would never accidentally crash into Europa's oceans on September 21, of 2003. On April 30, of 2015 the messenger was deliberately impacted into Mercury, the Grail spacecraft, ebb and flow were crashed into the lunar surface on December 17 of 2012 and in February of 2018 we plan to hurl Juno into Jupiter as well. Some believe that NASA and other organizations are trying to turn one of the gas giants Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus or Neptune into a small sun. What many consider to be man's first attempt at creating a small star in our solar system has been coined the Lucifer Project, the name Lucifer being Latin and meaning light bringing. Science fiction fans will be familiar with this concept. In Arthur Clarke and Stanley Kubrick's 2010 Odyssey 2, an alien monolith condenses Jupiter and transforms it into a second sun. The process turns the planet's moons into life-sustaining worlds and the people of Earth name this second sun Lucifer. 
While many contend that the idea is preposterous, and that such a plan could not work, Jupiter which is considered a failed star they say doesn't have enough mass. Others including physicist J. Werp state that not only is it possible, but they strongly advise against it. A second star in our solar system could destroy life on Earth. On October 19 of 2003 a mysterious dark spot appeared on Jupiter indicating an explosion the size of Earth at the exact location of Galileo's anticipated location. Many consider this a failed attempt at starting a chain nuclear reaction, but cite the appearance of the dark spot as evidence of Galileo's plutonium cylinders fissioning, which may have been the largest man-made explosion to ever occur. The Cassini and Juno spacecraft are carrying much more plutonium than the Galileo, we shall soon find out if it is possible to start a nuclear chain reaction and kick-start nuclear fusion by plunging the spacecraft, the equivalent of a nuclear bomb, into the planets. It seems however, highly coincidental that the spacecraft are set to plunge into their surfaces within a year of each other. Even if a nuclear chain reaction does not occur is this really the wisest way to dispose of a spacecraft that is no longer useful to us? No one really knows what the consequences of doing this may be, and while at this time we may think it inconceivable that a gas giant may harbor life, there could very well be life forms whose existence we cannot even begin to fathom at this stage of our development. Let us not forget that we have just begun this journey of exploring space and our universe and despite what advances we may think we have made, we are still very primitive, our technologies and knowledge still very limited. Perhaps we should proceed more cautiously. As always thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video please like, comment and subscribe.